Hey, and welcome back to my channel. As I discussed in my previous videos, we are currently witnessing the forced evolution of our workplace due to the pandemic. After being forced to move to a remote, work from home model, employees are finding it hard to make their way back into the office as the vaccines roll out and life slowly begins to return to normal. But the employers see this, and the smart ones are moving quickly to adapt. More companies are offering remote work opportunities than ever before, and most are finding it beneficial. However, there are certainly some employers who are eager to get everyone back into the office. For reasons they say should be obvious, like stronger personal interactions, easier team building, and a return to the status quo. Certainly, these are valid reasons for wanting to return to an in-person office, but Lindsay Kohler of Forbes postulates a different reason employers are so eager to return to the office loss of control. Remote workers have more freedom and flexibility than ever before, but at the cost of managerial control. Employers are nervous that remote work represents a step back in productivity as employees are given more freedom and flexibility from home. Employee surveillance is a way for them to retain a sense of control over their team despite being in a remote situation. However, employees, unions, and advocacy groups are concerned that the increase in employee surveillance software represents a potential invasion of privacy, which could ultimately lead to more problems than solutions. So in this video, we're going to quickly explore the different ways employers are utilizing new technologies to monitor their employees as they work from home, and talk a little bit about the acclaimed benefits and potential issues they have raised as we move into a new era of employment. But before we get started, as always, please consider liking, subscribing, and clicking that bell. It really means a lot and it's completely free. How do companies monitor their remote employees? Every company utilizes different programs and methods of monitoring their employees. While you're clocked in and using a company property such as your work phone or laptop, your employer has the right to use whatever techniques they see fit up to and including webcam access and even phone tracking software. It is legally required for employees to inform you of the right to monitor you, but these statements are often vague and buried in legal documents. Unfortunately, it is nearly impossible to employees to determine exactly what monitoring tools are being used on their devices, if any. But it should be assumed that all company property and software is subject to monitoring, including things like Zoom, Slack, and even email. Here are the most common ways employers track their employees through their work devices. App and browser history. It should come as no surprise that your employer has access to your web browsing history as well as internal email and chat logs. Often this extends only to company devices like a work laptop or phone, but logging into a company network or server with a personal device may also give your employer access to limited data from those devices. Desktop Desktop screenshots. Some software has the ability to take screenshots of a user's desktop, some even doing so periodically to create a slideshow of a user's workday. Facial recognition. Facial recognition is a new technology that employers claim increases security and prevent unauthorized access to potentially sensitive material. However, some employees are reporting that facial recognition is being used not just to log into devices, but also to monitor the movement of the employee as they work. If the software senses they have moved away from the machine or detects an unrecognized face, it will automatically log the user out and lock the device. Key logging. Some might be familiar with key loggers as a type of dangerous malware that can infect computers and record your keystrokes, and therefore passwords and other sensitive information. However, monitoring software also includes this feature and some employers use it to further track their employees. Location tracking. Especially if you're using a company phone or other mobile data-enabled device, expect that your employer likely has access to location information and may even be able to track your movements throughout the day. Webcam access. Finally, one of the most extreme ways of employee monitoring is the ability to activate and watch them through a device's webcam. Often, this includes the ability to turn off the red light that indicates the webcam is in use. What's the solution? So it's fair to say that employers need some way of keeping track of their remote employees throughout the day. But how far is too far? Employers might argue that lack of in-person interaction makes it necessary to keep a strong connection to remote employees, thus presenting a need for monitoring software. Lindsay Kohler argues that remote work offers a new, unique way for employees and employers to get to know each other, as things like Zoom video meetings allow a small glimpse into their personal lives. Building genuine connection like this is a healthier way of building trust and not as controlling and evasive as monitoring. She states we need to learn to adapt to this new way of working, employers should be open to discovering what types of jobs are done more effectively, at home versus in the office. Employee monitoring software runs counter to this goal, as it instills a sense of distrust and dissatisfaction in employees. When control is let go, so much more is gained, confidence, trust, and true interpersonal relationships. As we continue to navigate into the future of this ever-changing workplace, it becomes increasingly important to move forward. Digital employee surveillance is based on old, antiquated ideas of employment. We should be brainstorming new 21st century solutions to these issues. This just wraps up this video exploring the complex issues of remote employee surveillance. If you have anything to add to this discussion, please leave it down.
out in the comment below. We'd love to hear from you. Otherwise, if you like this video, please again consider liking, subscribing, and clicking that bell. It really means a lot and it's completely free. Don't forget to also follow me at Preston underscore Park as I try my best to also post daily. Thanks again and we'll see you on the next one.